Hi, welcome to the Light of Deception. Today I'm going to be covering the topic of the deception of Sozo. Many people are using this inner healing practice to tap into some kind of inner child and provide access to healing in their life. Some kind of practice of prayer that reaches into the innermost depths of your pains and hurts and things that you took in as a child and you are going to it looks like a renouncing of some de demonic practices of some sort to access healing in your life. And so let's get into this, this sozo. You will find this in the translation of Greek from the biblical text. Let's see how they're using it to deceive many. So I'm going to go right to the actual source of where this is taught so you guys can see how it's being misused and how it's super dangerous to get into these practices of inner healing. So it's from Bethel Sozo. That says a lot in itself. I will provide you the link below so you can read it yourself as well. So here's your definition. What is Sozo? Sozo is a Greek word translated saved, healed, delivered. Sozo ministry is a unique inner healing and deliverance ministry aimed to get to the root of things hindering your personal connection with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So they have a formula to help you get connected. Now, just to think about this, and I'll stop for just a minute, doesn't that happen as you turn your life over to Jesus as Lord and Savior, um, then what happens to you in your heart? So why are we practicing things to tap into getting closer to the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit if we believe the promises that are provided for us in the Bible at salvation? The Holy Spirit, right? Okay, let's move on. With the healed connection, you can walk in the destiny to which you have been called. Well, that's deep, right? So they're getting you based off this terminology. Usually it's going to be aimed towards people that are hurting and suffering and that have um, been in some state of bondage and can't, they near, they're looking to man for answers instead of God. So let's get into the next part. A Sozo session is a time for the Sozo team to sit down with you and with help of the Holy Spirit walk you through the process of freedom and wholeness. So people are going to walk you through this. Sozo is not a counseling session, but a time of interacting with Father, Son, and Holy Spirit of wholeness and pursuing of your destiny. I just, when I read these kind of things, it really saddens my heart because either they have bought into the whole deception themselves or they formulated something to get connected to God where you're visualizing being in the presence of God. We are connecting with God and everybody's having a different kind of connection with the Father and uh, you're tapping into familiar spirits or you're delusional, one or the other, because your truth is found in the Word of God alone. The, Jesus is the same yesterday today and forever. There's no need to add these kind of sessions in, in, in prayer and meditation or whatever they're taking you through so you can connect with the Father. I know these practices all too well, getting involved in them myself, and I'll talk a little bit about that later. Next it says, I have had an incredible privilege. I have had the incredible privilege of being ministered to on several occasions by and it says the two people's name I'm not going to just throw them out there you can come on to this I'll give you their um, her name is Dawn or Donna is the first one and then it's and the Bethel Sozo team so there's a two there's a team of people that do this says they are amazing gifted and powerful anointed healing group do you see what happens here when pride takes over, when you're talking about yourself and having the power to help people get more connected with Jesus when Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life? No man comes to the Father except through him, not through people, not through a book, not to a practice. So there's Donna and it looks like Teresa that are teaching these. This, you can get to the link. I'll send it to you. It says, Sozo Saved, Healed, Delivered. 
So those are the words. There's more here. There's more about the trainings that you can get into. I'm going to just kind of click receive ministry is here. Ministry trainings. Sozo network is here. Receive Sozo ministry. Um, ministry train. There's a um, actually a little tutorial here that I will plug in here behind this so you can watch that as well. I didn't want to just stick on this site because they have several training books here that you can see as well. I'm, I'm going to click in just to see if I can give you um, personal Zozo, Sozo um, appointments process is here as well and then appointments in other locations so you can find out how widespread this is and then the ministry itself there'll be different training sessions a basic one and then you can get into an advanced one um, so they're calling these seminars um, then says so says follow the information let's see is for Bethel Sozo seminars either taught by the Bethel Sozo team regional facilities certified trainers or trainings of Bethel Church in Redding California so there you go that's there for you to see that so just don't take my word for it come here yourself and you can look around so it's talking about browse our Sozo network there's a whole network here it so uh, it shows you churches that are related maybe in different parts of yeah, the United States there are churches that have teams that we have trained and monitor all over the world they have opened up their ministries to include individuals outside the churches, their churches. And then you can browse to can see that. And then it kind of has addresses here, advanced training here, women's conferences. There's uh, itineraries here to see moving forward. And then you go back to the home page here. It's well developed, so you can see it's been around, I believe, since the early 2000s. Uh, I did see a date of 2002 and then you'll go to the about and it'll talk about salvation healing healing and deliverance they use verses of the Bible here like Romans 10:9, um, um, and some people would tell you that's really not even part of the salvation story that is directed to, towards Israel because um, it deals with confession those kind of things okay next to that um, to be the healing is Matthew they're using uh, scripture Matthew 9 22 and then for deliverance they're using Luke 8 35 so it's a way to use scripture to bring about your own topics your own formulas your own movements and be careful for these formulas of teachings and these movements and mechanisms that promise to provide healing and wholeness when that comes through the Lord alone. The Holy Spirit has been given. Jesus died for your sins. God is the healer. Never forget to go to him. I pray everything that you find on the light of deception will help you stay out of the light of deception. That would be the false light of deception. Until next time.